Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Patrick here with a new video for you. And as you can probably tell from the title, this is going to be a very, very interesting video. I'm personally excited for this because I've never done any type of gear review of any sort for a saxophone, mouthpiece, ligature, whatever. I haven't done any of that stuff before. And a lot of you have been requesting that I check out some of these things, especially all my friends and, you know, a lot of living legends right now who currently use this company that I'm talking about. And so today we're going to be doing a completely honest first impression unboxing and playtest video of some Sios alto saxophone mouthpieces. So this video might actually come as a bit of a surprise to some of you because those of you who know me know that I am not the biggest gearhead by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, I even have a little clip of me ranting that you probably have seen by now of me talking about, you know, People who pay 500, 1,000, 2,000, 15,000, taking out a mortgage, their life savings or whatever, think on these really expensive saxophones, mouthpieces, all types of gear, you know, thinking that it's going to give them the best sound or improve their sound. And as much as I like using that and making fun of that type of thing, I would be lying to you if I said that gear wasn't important, of course. It should be quite obvious that the things that are quite literally allowing you to create the sound when you put air into the saxophone are going to matter. So the thing that I was really talking about is how those things that you have to try, experiment with different reeds, mouthpieces, saxophones of different, whatever, those things don't have to cost an arm and a leg. I mean, it could be $100, it can be 50 it could even be free. Just like this mouthpiece I got from my friend in high school, the mouthpiece you all know me to play on, this Meyer 6. <laughs> this, look, at the, look at this thing. I don't know if the freaking folk, look at that, bite marks on this thing, dude. <laughs> this thing is probably a Meyer 7 by this point. <laughs> I've been blowing this thing for 14 years. 14 years I've been playing that mouthpiece. And that's just the one that has always worked for me. It's the thing that uh, no matter how much I keep playing, people say, try this, try this, try this, try this. I always go back to my Meyer. It's the thing that makes me feel at home and it gives me everything that I need. So finding a new mouthpiece to play on is quite challenging. Now, like I said, I've been hip to these things for a long time. I've been hearing their names all over the place. Sayos, 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 Sayos. I mean, they were in New York when I was living in New York for quite some time. And Dana Stevens was actually the first person to show me, hey, you should check out these mouthpieces. And I was like, okay. But again, you know, you know, a little stubborn on me is like, no, my Meyer, man, you know, my Meyer is the best. People in my Discord server even can hear me. They can probably quote some messages of me saying, oh, I'm never going to change. I'm never going to change. But listen. All my friends play it, and legends of this music play it. Future legends as well. We're talking like Tavon Pinnacott, Dana Stevens, as I mentioned. Saxo Logic, Joe Lovano, uh, Godwin Louie. Like, so many different people that we know and love play these mouthpieces. So, like I said, if they like it, you know, let's see if it matches me. But um, I'm really excited for these. Now, before we get on to the unboxing, I have to take a quick moment to tell y'all about my favorite saxophone in the company that I endorse, J.O. Woodwind. As most of you may know by now, I have been exclusively playing the J.O. Woodwind Artist Edition New York Signature Professional Alto Saxophone for about six months now. And listen, this is a really big deal because anything that can convince me to hop off of my beloved Yamaha 62 that I've been playing of 12 years that was gifted to me by the wonderful Jeff Clayton is going to be special. <laughs> anything that can do that has to be groundbreaking because that, that horn is my heart, my life. But... I couldn't ignore it. When when I went down to the John Ledbetter shop in New York, um, who was introduced to me by uh, another great friend of mine, Chad LB, um, I was in love. And when I played these horns, I was like, man, there's something about this. And I don't know what it is. But basically, John, with his incredible skills, handcrafted this thing, took such care and detail. Look at all this engraving, the key work. This is a beautiful horn, y'all. Um, and he really made this comfortable for me as I remember my horn, but also gave me all the things that I loved about that horn, Selmer, all that kind of stuff, without the things that I disliked about them. And now I have a whole bunch of new limits that I didn't know I could, I didn't know I could have. I thought that there were a bunch of limits and that was it, but now there's a whole bunch of new things for me to explore. And I'm extremely excited about being an endorser of this company. I'm extremely, extremely uh, honored. So thank you, John Letbetter. I appreciate you very much. Now, if you love how this saxophone sounds and you've been dreaming on getting your hands on one, well, you can go ahead and go over to jlwoodwindrepair.com and go ahead and navigate over to the new section on the Altos, find the Artist Edition New York Signature Saxophones, and hit the promo code PBART, that's P-B-A-R-T, in the discount code section to get $150 off your next saxophone purchase on JL Woodwind Repair. All right, so now that that's all out of the way, let's go ahead and break these boxes open and see what we're working with. All right, so, you know, I already didn't have a script for this, but this is going to be the part of the video where it's definitely going to feel a little loose, so bear with me here as I unbox. <laughs> this is really cute. Check this out. You're, you're new. <laughs> See, I haven't watched any. Y'all might This might not be surprising to y'all, but I've never watched any 
review videos of this mouthpiece or any other mouthpiece before, but check that out. Your new best friend is here. That's a pretty bold statement. I mean, I, I got a lot of friends, but, you know, maybe I can add a new one to the family. Who knows with this one? Wow. I mean, just everything about the presentation, the box. Like I said, I don't really buy gear, so maybe I'm just really naive to this, but it has this nice little pouch. Okay. I'm feeling so. Okay. Now, I'm a little worried because, uh, you know, as you know, not only do I use jail. Whoop. Do y'all hear the siren in the background? <laughs> They're coming for me. The, My the Meyer police are coming. They don't want me to play Sios. So as I was getting ready to say, uh, I'm a little worried because, as you know, I play ligaphone in addition to playing the jail woodwind saxophones. I also play ligaphone ligatures and reeds. And so I'm hoping that this will fit on this mouthpiece. It should fit most, uh, if not all, uh, alto saxophone mouthpieces um, that are hard rubber or style hard rubber. These Sios mouthpieces are 3D printed. So that's another cool thing about them is that they're very environmentally friendly. Um, definitely going to be healthier. Um... And yeah, this is not, I also got to make it clear, this is not a product placement video. This is not an endorsement, anything. This is just me checking these things out. And speaking of checking out, <laughs> I'm colorblind, y'all. I'm very sorry. But this looks like blue, which is perfect because, you know, the J Music Ensemble logo is blue. There's a mouthpiece guard on it. That's pretty cool. Let me check out the inside. Definitely looks very similar to my Meyer. Matter of fact, this might be modeled exactly like my Meyer. I'm very curious about this right now. Well, here it is, y'all. My first time looking at a Sios mouthpiece in person. So that's the first box. Let's go ahead and check out what the second box is going to be. So now we got the evil twin over here. We went from blue to red. I guess we can see which one of these mouthpieces is going to come on top. Which team, the blue team or the red team? And looking at this one, this is also very similar to my Meyer. Matter of fact, I'm going to show you both inside of both of these. I should have been doing that from the beginning, but... Of course, the one on this hand is the Meyer, and the one over here is the Sios. And I'll show you again to the blue one as well. This is also the same type of thing. I don't know if you can see in there at all, but maybe at some point I'll do a better comparison for you. Now the most exciting part, where I take this mouthpiece, put on my ligature, go ahead and get my reed out, see what we can do here. This is actually kind of nerve-wracking as I do this, because like I said, y'all, I haven't tried a new mouthpiece in so long. Well, it's not true. I've tried mouthpieces, but I haven't switched. I haven't switched mouthpieces for 14 years. It's wild. So I'm really hoping that this thing will at least, well, not even hoping. I don't really have any expectations. <laughs> the only thing I'm kind of curious about right now is the response. I'm curious about the tone production. I'm curious about projection. I'm curious about the altissimo, how loud, how soft, all that kind of stuff like that. But so far, so good. Let's see what we got. All right, so now we're going to get to the more experimental side of the video because right now I only have one mic stand. I have two mics. I just don't have two mic stands, so I'm going to have to adjust the mic level a little bit and kind of talk at a distance. Sorry if the volume is not good enough. I'll try to boost it in post. But right now we're going to actually move on to our first play test. So let's go ahead and see what we're working with. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to blow through the mouthpiece by itself. I mean, the mouthpiece by itself even sounds good, but that's not what you came here to hear. So let's check something else out. So now I realize I don't even have my neck strap. So let me go ahead and get my neck strap real quick. And I guess as I'm doing this, I also want to talk about um, the fact that these mouthpieces come, as you know, in like the most recognizable thing about them is their colors. They come in a lot of different colors, a lot of different styles. I think they said they have like three different styles or maybe there's more, but I saw like three main things that were advertised on the website. So looks like there's a lot of options you can also choose from. And maybe I'll try some others, but here we go, y'all. This is uh, <laughs> this is crazy. Again, I don't I don't really watch a lot of these videos, these review videos, so I don't know how they normally look. So hopefully this is not wasting your time too much and not looking as professional. But this is just as honest as I can get. So this is my first play test of the Sios or one of these Sios alto saxophone mouthpieces. Let's see what we can let's see what we get out of here. <laughs> I always have to go through an intense adjustment period <laughs> with these reeds on the mouthpiece. Wow. 
impressions with this one right now the response is kind of wild this is probably the most instant response i think i've had but the one thing i guess that can be that i'm kind of wishing admit this might be the read reads and mouthpieces interact in totally different ways but the one thing that i'm kind of hoping this i was hoping for is a little more brightness but maybe that's on purpose maybe this is just the maybe this is the darker one Hey everybody, it's Patrick here, and I just wanted to interject quickly for a little bit just to apologize for my ignorance towards the Sios line of products, and also just in gear in general, um, as you can tell is a recurring theme with me. But the two mouthpieces I was sent were the Smoky and the Spark mouthpieces. The first one, the Smoky, being of course a warmer, darker sound, and the Spark being a brighter, more powerful sound, which explains the discrepancies that I was having and feeling between the two mouthpieces that I didn't realize before. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of quickly put that in there that I know now and I'm aware, but yeah, sorry about that. Okay, enjoy the rest of the video. Thanks. But man, overall, that's pretty nice, man. But that's the blue one. Let's go ahead and check out the red one. So right away, what I'm noticing about this red one as I'm putting it on, it's a lot lighter. Not lighter in weight, but just it feels a little smaller. And maybe that's also on purpose. So if it is, I'm excited. Let's check this out. All right, so now we got the red one on, and let's see what this one sounds like. Well, that's already an instant difference. So I don't know if you can tell, I don't know if that cut was too rough, but I had to do a little cut because I was actually kind of shocked at how different this one was from the blue one. I'm going to have to spend a little more time maybe doing a full analysis because this is not really an analysis video. This is just a first impression unboxing thing. But uh, yeah, there's definitely a lot more going on with this red one for me personally, because that's the whole point. SIO stands for shape your own sound. So maybe this one is more shaped to me. But I think right now I want to try something even different. Let's play some different styles and see what we get. All right. side that uh i can definitely still play a lot of what i wanted to play but like i said i don't know i don't know man i kind of got tripped up a little bit i don't know this is the first time i've, I've <laughs> checked out some new gear so maybe this, maybe i'm just having kind of a shock effect but so far i'm actually really pleased with what i'm seeing with these two mouthpieces 
So just for the sake of comparison, I ended up putting the Meyer back on the saxophone so that you can see the difference between the two. And maybe you can tell some things that even I can't hear as I'm playing. So here's the Meyer now. Tell me what you think. So, all in all, I gotta say, these mouthpieces definitely shocked me. Out of all the mouthpieces I've tried, so far, these are definitely the closest that I've felt to being able to give me something that I see in my Meyer that I can actually kind of reproduce. Um, I don't know why, but the Meyer, for, again, this is just first impression. This is first impression. I still feel more comfortable playing my Meyer. Now, that's not to say that these are worse than the Meyer. I just, I've been playing that mouthpiece for 14 years, so no one knows. But for for just for what I'm noticing right now as a first impression, um, out of both of these mouthpieces, while they respond extremely well and I can effortlessly play loud with warmth, which is something that I was kind of not expecting, there's still a certain kind of bright core, like a, I don't know what it is, a certain resistance. Maybe there's not enough resistance or something. I don't know exactly what it is. I'm going to have to spend some more time with these, and then I'll give you a real review. But first impressions? Very high marks on these things. Um, I want to do some more experimenting with it. Maybe I'll play them on some gigs very soon. But this is my first impression. What did y'all think? What did y'all think about these? I'm extremely happy. I'm, I might actually go text Dana and Tavon after this and say that I reviewed these. But what did you think? Go ahead and tell me in the comments below. And, of course, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and hitting that bell. It really helps me out a lot. And it lets me know that you like what I'm putting up. And speaking of that, is there any other mouthpieces you want me to try out? Or are there any other video ideas that you like me to talk about? Any other topics that are on your mind, questions. Of course, all of that stuff you can put in the comment section below. All right, y'all. So that's about it for this video. Thank you so much again to Pauline and everybody at Sios for sending me these wonderful mouthpieces and allowing me to try them. I'm extremely grateful for this opportunity to finally break out of my comfort zone somewhat and try some new mouthpieces that get me thinking differently about my sound. So I know this is going to be a lot more I'm going to discover as I play these on different shows and recordings. So, yeah. All right, y'all. Be well and take care. And I'll see you in the next video. Hey, real quick, one more thing, actually. Um, I'm probably going to stick this on to the end of the video because uh, I got to apologize to Sios. I got to apologize to Pauline, everybody there, because, uh, man, I put on, just after I recorded the video, I kid you not, I recorded the video, I, I did whatever I had to do, I took a break, I went and got some water, all kind of stuff, and I was like, huh, something's different. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, let me change reads. Let me see, what is, let me just change read, put a different read on. I put a different read on, and man... I'm gonna, just let, I'm gonna let you hear for yourself. <laughs> the difference is night and day. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, man. Uh. Completely different impression of the mouthpiece. This is a real first impression. You know, it just goes to show you that whatever works on this thing might not work on this thing. Different reads, different mouthpieces. That's very real. I just didn't want to put this video up without putting this part on it. So sorry if this video is a lot longer than it should be, but I just got to say, I am more than impressed. Now, not only am I impressed, I'm a little scared. <laughs> but more on that later. I'll do a real in-depth mouthpiece review at some point. But right now, this is my real, 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 real first impression of the Sios mouthpiece. I don't know, man. Y'all were right. That's all I got to say. Y'all shut me up. But don't get too don't get too cocky yet. We'll see what this thing can do on the gig. <laughs> but yeah, seriously though, take care. Peace. <laughs>